It's so bad. Gyarados is a problem. Ah. Uh. I can't. I just can't believe that. Like, why am I playing a six thousand rank player? In the first place, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Uh, all right. Well, this is another weird team. I have to watch out for Trick Eject Button. I have to watch out for weird Gyarados sets. Who's that? Okay, well, speaking of weird Gyarados sets. Moxie Gyarados, that makes sense. I'm going to reflect and protect here. See what they want to do. They're going to Dynamax Gyarados off the bat. Uh, I need I need to use Colossal to beat Gyarados because if I fail to use Colossal to beat Gyarados, I will lose. Nothing in the back can deal with Gyarados. Nothing in the front. Only Colossal can deal with Gyarados. It's fine if I get um, Dusclops, but I didn't get I didn't bring Dusclops. Let's see if he has Trick Eject button. Thunder Wave, that's the other move that made sense. I guess no Eject button. Problem is that I now am uh, paralyzed before I can use Reflect. They actually just go for Geyser, so they don't give a crap about potentially Gastrodon. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Too much damage, too much damage. Why did it do 50%? Oh my god. Fast. Para? Yep. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Let's see if they max grass my Dragapult. Thunder Wave Grimmsnarl is going to make this really, really, really bad. Yeah, they could. This is an obvious move, but I, I didn't have a better move. I couldn't let Colossal take another hit there. Um, I think realistically, Grimsaw is going to Thunder Wave me. Though in a in a perfect world, they wouldn't Thunder Wave. They'd do something else. Oh, and Gastrodon might have lived Max Grass through Reflect, but without Reflect being up, yeah, I'm just in trouble. Let's see what they go for. I will still outspeed the Gyarados. They go for a Swagger into Gyarados. Okay, so it's Lumberry. Well, I'm dead. I just don't know who. Lumberry. I mean, the good thing is we still get this attack off and the damage is going to be nice. The question is, do I die? And who are they attacking if they're going for... My sympathy is limited. That's got to be a crit. Oh, I didn't even crit. Well, my sympathy is even more limited. That shouldn't be one-shotting. There's no world in which I believe that should be one-shotting. Should that be one-shotting? That seems weird. Oh, well. We'll take it. Swagger, Thunder Wave... Maybe screens? Genjar comes in. Um, could have Energy Ball. Uh, could have Focus Sash. I'm going to set the sun up. Do I really want to set the sun up? Not really. Well, Rain isn't really a threat to me anymore. I'm going to Scald the Grimmsnarl and um, I guess I'll Vocalith. Uh, you know what? I'm going to Earth Power the Gengar and Vocalith the Grimmsnarl. Let's get this thing out of the way. The thing is, if they Thunder Wave me, they will outspeed with Gengar. However, they have to connect, and I refuse to allow that to happen. No more Thunder Wave for the rest of the game. We should win this game from now. For now. Shadow Ball. Yeah, I don't think this will KO. Yeah, no way. And this will be the end of Genjar, and then... Yeah. Bop. They survive, but not for long. Goodbye. Wow. Okay. Last Pokemon is Ferrothorn? Oh yeah, they have Ferrothorn on this team. I forgot. Well, uh, I guess I'll yell on that. 
And Max Flare. With Conkle Donk in the back, I should be able to win this. Okay, so we got to number 12. Let's see how many wins it takes us to get back there. If we can even win enough to get back there. Goodbye, Ginger. Alright, we were number 20. We were 12. We lost one. We lost nine win ranks. Let's see how much we get for winning one game. Four ranks. Okay. Number 17. The only way of having the chance to miss kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I go back and forth on whether or not I agree with you. Don't be- don't feel sorry for the opposing trainer. They were thunderswagging me. Okay, number 11. We've got to win this one. Okay. Well, I'm special, so it doesn't- oh, god. Okay, Darmanitan, Raichu, Gashrodon, and Didi, Incineroar, and Corviknight. So this is definitely a Colossal game. The question is, how do we get Colossal set up? Um, they're gonna leave with Raichu, and... Are they gonna leave with Raichu? Or are they gonna leave with Darmanitan? They have to leave Gashrodon, right? They have to leave Gashrodon. I'm going to keep him honest. I'm going to do my regular lead um, in the back. The thing is, if I get Conkledor and Trick Room, I feel like I win this. The thing is, the other thing is, though, that I'm going to have to really respect Gastron if I do this. So, yeah, Conkledor and Trick Room does really well here. Corvinid is, of course, a little scary, but yeah, I think I'm going to do this. It's it's a little different. Uh, actually, it's not that different. It's actually originally when I built the team. Oh, okay. It's a one in four chance to Oko Gyarados. Cool. That's not bad odds. So basically, I'm giving my opponent a couple chances to lose the game, just off the bat. Um, leading the wrong Pokemon would, would lose him the game. Something like Raichu Corviknight, or I mean, I could I wouldn't be surprised to like Corviknight Gastrodon, because I have Haze on Dusclops now. When I had Metronome, this is much harder. Raichu and Armanitan. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't really know what my opponent's thinking. Like, is he gonna superpower me? I really don't know. Because if I just go for Surf and, a, and Heat Wave, I would win the game. Or Surf and Max Flare, or Surf and Max Rockfall. But they've kind of freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm actually gonna reflect and switch. Um, let's see what they wanna go for. I expect it's gonna be like superpower. Or maybe I'm just getting baited. I don't know. But let's find out. I see results are not out yet. No switches from my opponent, but both of these Pokemon have switching moves, so they could be going for that. Let's find out. Sash and Scarf. You t Wait, I could have just won! I could have just served and won the game! Are you serious? Oh my god, it feels so bad. What? I could have just served and Max Rockfold. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> Servant Max Rockwell wins the game. I shouldn't be respecting my opponents so much, but they're so high ranked. <laughs> oh my god. Well, three of these Pokemon lose to Conkledor, so they either have ga they better have Gastron on the back if they're playing like this. Oh my god, Servant Max Rockfall was an easy game over. Are they gonna nuzz me? They nuzz me, dude. Well, they nuzz the Dusk, dude. They nuzz my Dusk. Got nuzzed all over the Dusk. What do you want me to say? I got nuzzed. Um, I'm gonna light screen here. Just in case, I think it's worthwhile. And I'm gonna go for Trick Room. Like, I'm gonna bring Conkledor in as my Dragapult dies, and then I'll just see what happens. Yeah, I can just Drain Punch everything. I could've gone for Dragon Darts and broken the Focus Sash as well. That was a viable option, I think. They Volt Switch out, okay. Well, we might learn what the last Pokemon is, I don't know. We might go back into Darmanitan. I think they'll probably go Gastrodon, though, if they have it. That's not Dermanitan. It's Gastron. Okay, well, at least they had Gastron. I feel a little less stupid now. They go for Larietta. But I can just Drain Punch into the Incinera slot and nab a KO here. Unless I survive, which is actually pretty bad. Trick Room comes out. Okay. Well. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just go Hard Conk and save Dragapult for later, since apparently I can just do that. I'm going to Nightshade into the Incineroar. The damage is more likely to be permanent, and it might die to a uh, Drain Punch now. This person is nothing for for Conkledor. They have four Pokemon that lose to Conkledor, so if I just play Conkledor correctly, I don't even need to rely on um, 
I don't even need to rely on Colossal, though having the option is nice as well, because I don't need to Dynamax Colossal either, if I don't feel like it. I have Screens up, um, I have Trick Room up, but I'm paralyzed in Dusclops, which adds some variants that I don't really want to deal with. They should switch Incinera out here, there's no way they stay in. I needed that <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Into this guy? Are they ignoring Dragapult? Lair oh, they ignored Dragapult, okay. Well, I'm just Drain Punching that slot, I'll tell you that much. Okay. I'm gonna Drain Punch into Incineroar. I'm gonna Nightshade into Gastrodon. No, I'm gonna Pain Split into Gastrodon. Give me, give me your health. And it'll do roughly the same amount of damage, and I'll end up with more health. You're welcome, Dub. I just need a couple KOs. I don't even need it. I just need, I just need, I don't even know what I need. Use Hyper Beam. Whoa. We did use Hyper Beam on a team, actually, on Noctowl. Okay, they stay in with Incineroar. So I'm Drain Punching it. I hope that they don't Scald me and get Birth to Burn. They Earth Power, okay, that's fine. And to Conkle Donk. I have no idea what they're doing. Did they crit me? I did a lot of damage. I Drain Punch. I'm Life Orb. This should KO. Okay, so the Night Shade actually didn't end up mattering. But I got paralyzed on. Um, I don't know what's going on. They're down to Pokemon. I have Screens and Trick Room up. Um, I have one health on Dragapult. They haven't Dynamax. They're going to have to Dynamax somebody. But it's probably going to be Gastrodon, right? I feel like you have to Dynamax Gastrodon if you're in this position. I could Dynamax Conkleder here. Okay, Raichu comes in. Um, I could Dynamax Conkleder here, actually. I, I actually like that. Um, it'll make, make it a little harder for me to beat Gastron in the end, but... Um, this will KO a Pokemon for sure, and then if I get the KO this turn, I can KO next turn with... Well, not for sure, because the problem is that they could, in theory, you know... I could get paralyzed, but if I don't get paralyzed, then next turn I get a guaranteed KO on the Dormanitan, because I can't protect. Oh yeah, we did a Hyper Beam Glaceon, I forgot. <laughs> I blocked that part in my memory. Okay, they are Dynamax and Gastron. There was like a really weird, like wet sound like Gastron made at the end of its Dynamax cry. I don't know if you guys heard it. I heard it though, I'll tell you that much. I was there. I heard the cry. Please don't be paralyzed. Please don't be paralyzed. <laughs> Please! I beggeth of you. I beseech thee. Fake out? Okay, well, at least I don't... No, at least nothing that bad will happen this... Ah! I don't deserve this. I don't deserve any of this. My reflect is gone. It's the last turn of Trick Room! No! No. 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 No screens, no hope. All right, let's think this one through calmly and clearly.
This is definitely a max card. I don't think I can take a Scald in the rain regardless. So... Tempted to... I'm tempted to switch, if we're going to be honest, but... I think I'll just pain split into the Gastrodon. Though if Dusclops were to go down here, I probably would lose, right? Whatever. Ice Punch. Bop. Okay. If they had doubled me, I might have been in trouble, but they didn't double me. Quake comes out, getting a special defense boost. That's not really relevant. My only special attacker is Colossal, who's currently dog food. Um, oh, man. All of those pairs are so bad. I wonder if it's going to happen again. Am I going to lose? On God. Am I going to lose this? Because it feels like the answer might be yes. Double. Thank you for subbing. Let's get rid of this and do this. Now let's do this. Jin, thank you very much for the raid. You're watching something horrible. I'll tell you that much. All right. There goes the end of Dermana 10. So it's a one versus four. However, my Conkleder is paralyzed and I have stupid Colossal who can't be gastered on Earth Tower. Oh, they messed up, dude. This person messed, like, big time messed up. And they're high rank, too. Okay, well, thank you, Dusclops. It's a little bit too late for anything useful, but I guess... I guess that's fine. Oh, well, that was fun. Well, I've won, but I don't feel happy about it. My mental state was a loss. We got Parrot three turns, it's still 1 4 0. <laughs> but we got some Carbos. Aw, oh, thanks very much, Jin. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Okay, two wins. Two wins back to where we lost from. Are we gonna lose to the legendary Burden Man? Once again, Wolf Click versus his arch nemesis, 6,000 ranked player. I think there's something in the melee community named, like, uh, Falco Master 9000 or 7000 or something. And it's the idea of, like, a legendary Falco who, like, might be a top player. But, I don't know, just like, it's like they seem like a nobody and then they're very good or something, I think is the idea. And I think it's more of this idea of like uh, an ethereal spirit taking possession of players' bodies. So like if you're a really good player and you're in like your pool phase of the tournament and you're playing as the Falco, like maybe they might be Falco Master 9000 and just be like randomly really good. I feel like that's happening to me against like 6,000 ranked players. That did happen when I lost to Birdman. Because they played really well. I've played against that team many times. I don't think I've ever lost to it, except versus Birdman. Can you show up the Dracovish Joy-Cons? Sure. Just for you, chat. There you go. They're not really in focus. Oh, we found somebody. Please, Dracovish Joy-Cons. High ranked. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dracovish Joy-Cons. Mwah. Mwah. Very nice. Where's Birdman? Is this... Did I use this team? This looks like a team I used. Any did I use this teamers in the chat? Hey, give me the sets. Okay, what are the sets of this team? I know they're out there. This looks like a team that somebody knows about. If you know the sets of this team, you are obligated to tell me. Please! I need Falco Master 9000 in me? Okay, uh, <laughs> uh... We're gonna move past that one. This is once again a team that Concluder one shot everything on except for my Lodic. Do you know Ben 7000? Or was it Ben 9000? No, it was Ben 7000. Nightblade 7000? Who knows Ben? Who knows Ben? Who knows Ben, ben 7000? Aaron's team? Okay, Aaron Zhang! Wait, can I message him? What have I done? 
Trick Room Clang. Trick Room Clang. Mavericks team, special Flygon. Life Orb Flygon. Coil Milo Coil Milotic. Plus Minus Sucks Cling. Uh oh. Jiga Drain Fly. Jiga Drain Flygon? It gets Jiga Drain. Oh. Can it beat? Does it have taunt? What's the Women's God set? What's the Women's God set? Help! Aka, what? What? What's the Women's God set? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know any of the sets. I think I'll just go for what I would do if I didn't have info, which is just this. Follow me in Trick Room. This team isn't hard to beat. Hey, say that after I win, okay? Does it have Taunt on Whimsicott? Does it have Devon Gore? Okay, this should be Clink Clang. Toxtricity, okay. Air Balloon, what? Fake tears. What? I don't know. I said what. It's not surprising. <laughs> Trick room. Uh, I will get you. Everything about this team is confusing. That's air balloon toxicity. Why have air balloon? No balloons. Only air. All right. Let's nightshade. Toxicity. Fake tears. Well, if the Whimsicott is coming, oh no, he is streamed and he can't hear us. <laughs> I didn't think about reverse stream sniping, where you guys helped me by telling me the sets. This 45 second delay is killing me. Wait, it's Worry Seed Whimsicott? Somebody said no taunt, is that not true? Moonblast Worry Seed? No taunt? Okay, well, that's good to know. That's actually good to know. But Worry Seed's kind of scary. Okay, here come that boy. Do you guys think Earth Power KO's Dynamax Toxtricity? Because I'm not sure. Gastrodon. Let's see if I even survive, because if I die, I'm super dead. Oh, it's G-Max? Uh oh, G-Max Stun Shock versus Toxtricity. Earth Power versus Dynamax. Yeah, it'll kill. But only if I'm able to attack. They fake tears into probably Dusclops. Bop. Goodbye, Air Balloony. G-Max Stun Shock. Ooh, Wolf Click. He makes a good play for the ones in his life. Um, I want to Earth Power into Toxtricity here. I don't really see a reason not to. Worst case scenario, they go into like a Cinera. Um, and I'm gonna actually... I could switch here if I wanted. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hate... Wait, what are the boosts right now? It's minus two on Dusclops. Nothing else has any drops or anything. I'm just gonna Nightshade the Whimsicott. I think that's gonna be worthwhile in a longer term. Please not Earth Power. Wait, but I broke the Balloon. I hit it with Nightshade. Goodbye, Wimsicott. Yeah, I wanted to double the slot with Nightshade and Yawn. Okay, here comes Jiga Drain Flygon. Okay, hold up, everybody. I forgot that this was coming in. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't freaking... Oh my god, I almost did something stupid. I'm glad I didn't yawn that slot. Pick him. Just pick hit Master Vault here. Thanks to God, Sans Thank you for all the good content. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, the kind words. Now, what am I going to do? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, plus one Flygon. Very, very, very scary. Okay, let's go ahead and switch into Tojikus. Turn to Trick Room left, are a couple. I'm just gonna, you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm hazing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to the boost. Damn, I can't believe this survived. Are they gonna please max guard? Whoa, wolf click back against the wall. Goodbye, all the boosts and drops. Wow, wow. <laughs> wolf click with information is a different beast. Wow. Someone said this Flygon doesn't have protect. Let's test that theory, shall we? Oh no, Gastrodon! 
get out of there. It has its Jigga Drain flag on. Oh God, oh no, he has AirPods and he can't hear us. <laughs> What's night, Jade? The answer is Max does clubs. Listen, no, it's not. Nightbot got sassy, dang. Do you think G-Max talks or regular Dynamax talks is better? It's tricky. I'm not sure, is the truth. If if it was, uh... Whoa. If it always paralyzed, it'd say G-Max, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm definitely reverse stream sniping. Chat's giving me all the info on the team, which is very helpful. Thank you, chat. I appreciate you and your sacrifice. <laughs> Goodbye, Fleegon. Oh, Trick Room's over. Well, I guess I better set it up again. Reverse team setting for the win. <laughs> yes! When was it got? I haven't even Dynamaxed yet. And Incineroar. Ooh, I would like to ban that. With Conkledonk in the back, I think I can just Trick Room and win. Let's go ahead and yawn here. Um... I think they might forfeit, but I'm not positive. Let's yawn the Incineroar and Trick Room. Please forfeit. There's no way you can win this. Chat hard carried this game? Yes. I knew that streaming would one day pay off when the chat had information that I didn't have. Metronome would have won this already? No, his was very important. Holy cow. Carry Wolf to number one. <laughs> this is cheating? No, it's not cheating. Oh, Moonblasty. Detojicus. Oh. Wow. 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 Flare Blitz. Eh? I see Vive, but only barely. It's weakness policy in Cinerar. Oh. Why reverse Snape? You're good enough to win, maybe? <laughs> hey, I appreciate the vote of confidence. Thank you. Um, Because I'm not dealing with Chicka Drain Flygon. Someone else can deal with Chicka Drain Flygon, not me. GG. Maybe reverse stream sniping is how Wolf won Worlds in 2016. Thonk! <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite work like this at live events. Max Dusclops is a threat. <laughs> hey Wolfie, how are you? I will tell you at the end of the stream. I win, and I get nothing. I lose, and I lose everything. I'm not even at rank top 10. And that guy wasn't low rank. They were like, what, 300? And this is what I get? Stuck at rank 12 again? For the third time this stream? Why? Why? I hate it here. Whoever asked me how I'm doing? Not good. Oh, we found somebody. Okay. This is a very important game to win for our dreams. Why? This might be like Volt Switch. Um, Volt Switch told you tomorrow and... Uh, it might be Yon Umbreon and... Uh, um, yeah, it might be Yon Umbreon. The problem is like I want both Conkleder... So, like, I don't, I really would like to bring Dusclops here, if we're being honest with ourselves and with each other, but the problem is that without, without Conkleder, I don't know if I can beat Umbreon, and that means that I kind of have to do Conk, I think, so I've decided. Nah. What's this guy's rank? I already forgot. Number 19? I actually- I played an Umbreon recently and just yawned everything. Umbreon actually is kind of legit, I, th I think. <laughs> Maybe I should have known Umbreon instead of Leafeon and Glacial. Oh, Leafeon was actually good. 
Tiji Tataru. Are there any are there non Yawn Umbreon? I think if you have Umbreon in this format, you're probably doing like Yawn, Snarl, Foul Play stuff. Toji Tamaru, Toji Kiss is awkward step, brother. Do you guys know Sajin's um Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I have to deal with this with this Rotom and Umbreon. I'm not gonna let myself get yawned here. I'm gonna light screen and Nah, I might just let myself get yawned. Might mess around and get yawned. Any yawners in the chat? Um, what happens if I light screen and protect? Worst case scenario, they get like some nasty plotters in the chat. I don't need Gigantamax to win this game, right? Although it would help. <laughs> it would certainly help. Uh, if I light screen and protect, what's the worst thing that happens? I could also reflect and switch to Gastron, but then if I get yawned, I'm still in trouble. So I'm going to light screen and protect here. Rotom switches out. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't attack. Dragapant is the switch, though. Okay, so we know three of the four Pokemon. Um, no Dynamax from Umbreon, very surprisingly. Very interesting. Are they going to break my Focus Sash with Umbreon? They Snarl. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, this could go badly. I didn't set Reflect up. I think I kind of just have to go for it, y'all. Uh, I think I just have to hope I win a Speed Tie slash hope they're not Scarf. This is really scary, though. I mean, if I get it wrong, I would just lose, right? If, or, like, okay, I would if I get it wrong, I don't just lose. But what if they're Max Geyser Dragapult? Do you guys think they're Max Dragon? Do guys are, oh, they're not in Japanese. No, we're fine. We're fine. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I got spooked for no reason. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. I just. Do, I have a fifty percent chance of just uh, doing pretty well. Snow Dark Person would be bad. They Dynamax or the yeah, they Dynamax Colossal. This could go badly. Yeah, I should have made the aggressive play turn one. If I go for Surf and a G-Max Vocalist that turn into Umbreon, or G-Max Flare into Umbreon, I would have been in a good spot, but, uh, not Max Guys or Dragapult, not Max Guys or Dragapult, win the speed tie, win the speed tie. Please, not Max Guys or Dragapult. Please, not Max Guys or Dragapult. Please, not Max Guys or Dragapult. Please, not Max Guys or Dragapult, you're not Japanese. You're not Japanese, therefore your odds of having Max Geyser Dragapult are only 1 in 20. Surf! Uh oh! Yes! We got some Wokolith in the chat. Any Wokolithers in the chat? What does it have to do that they're Japanese? If they're Japanese, they have Max Geyser. What do you want me to say? If they're not Japanese, they don't have Max Geyser. I faced the guy in the COVID tour. Couldn't you have said something sooner? Wait, Eduardo, that's kind of important information for me. If this is Geyser, I'm mad at you, Eduardo. Whoa! Whoa! Ha! Whoa! Whoa! Ha! Whoa! Are they gonna yawn me? Wow, 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 Yeah, so if you're running Max Geyser and you're not Japanese, you're part of the 5%. Yes! Yes! Not yawn colossal! Yes! Okay, but now do I KO? Service says no. Gut, my heart says no that I won't KO. So I'm going to protect this turn with both my Pokemans. Oh, leftovers. Oh. Let's see what they want to go for. Conkledonk is going to come in here. Wait, okay. So plus two did like... Wait, hang on. Let's do math in my head. Plus two did like 60. How much is plus one going to do? Does like 40 to 43 and plus two would do 50 to 60. Hmm. Are they life orb? I already forgot. I'm going to just, I'm just going to go for double detect here. I don't need all my Dynamax turns to win this game. I can scout into protecting the Umbreon or a switch. I don't remember what they had. <laughs> oh, max guard for me. An interesting move. And no protection from the opponent. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh. Oh, I said reflect up. Why was I so scared? Uh oh. Hang on a second. Are they life orb? Please be life orb. 
Roll your R's more. It reminds me of my ex. I don't know how to respond to that. Charm! Why Umbreon a threat? Why Umbreon very good? Okay, Umbreon, enough of your- I've had enough of your shenanigans. It's Drain Punch time, baby. Okay, last turn of Gigantamax. I'm just Drain Punching them. Don't care. And a G-Max Vocalist should definitely KO. And if it doesn't, I will lose the game out of sheer spite. Please kill, please kill. Togekiss? Togekiss, okay. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. Please! Thank you, Colossal, very cool. Okay, so the good news is that Conkholder beats Umbreon and Rotom. Um, and the other good news is that Gastrodon beats some things. The bad news is that if, uh, if I'm out of position, it's not super easy, and I'm also only a plus one, which is not ideal. Do I think KO token gets from here? I have a feeling I don't. <laughs> I actually don't. Oh wait, Vocalith. Okay, we do like 50% to token gets, which is not ideal. Drumbeon comes back in, okay. All right, um, hmm. So I could get foul played, which would be foul. Um, I think we should go to Gastrodon here and Ancient Power. I still have Reflect up for one more turn, right? I said Light Screen. Oh, that was interesting. And I'm minus defense. A foul play will one-shot me for sure. Let's see. With Light Screen up, I can actually afford to Drain Punch here into the Umbreon, I think. And Ancient Power into the Togekiss. Even if things go badly, I'll lose the game, which would be really bad. I knew they had Protect. Ah, oh, I felt it. Oh man, I should have protected. I should have hard read them. That was that was foolish. That was foolish and also stupid and also foolish. Oh, they go for Snarl. Okay, excellent. No foul plays in the chat. They crit conk, not a big deal. I'm about to be borrowing my health back. Man, that was a very good read by me. Well, I should have protected Colossal, but it's fine. Okay, Umbreon goes down. That was a good Drain Punch. Back to full. Well, if they were Yawn Umbreon, that would have been a lot harder, but they weren't. Charm Umbreon, huh? Huh. Why does it say Ancient Power does like 30%? Why does Ancient Power do 40% to Token Guess? I'm sick of Colossal's Garbaccio. Protect Togekiss. Well, I get to bring in the secret last Pokemon that no one would ever expect me to bring to this game. Gastro Dong! Double protect and they get tit. Why? Why they get double protect? Do I lose? Nasty Blot? Hydro Pump. Thank you for health. Thank you for special attack. Thank you for special attack. No, no. Wolf, click, click the right buttons, please. Just get rid of this thing. They probably are overestimating how much Angel Power is going to do. The answer is it doesn't do anything. Oh, wait. What if they're weakness policy and then I activate the weaknesses policy for them and then I'm actually in trouble? Don't believe this policy. Okay. Thank you. A Thunderbolt comes out. I should still live another one of these. Gleam comes out. Yeah, and nah, I'm in good shape. Oh, wait. No, did I say Gastrodong out loud? Oh, no. Volms, thank you very much for seven. Guys, if you want access to the team before I do the team report, slash all my teams, slash, you know, knowing what I'm doing in advance, feel free to consider subscribing. You support me. Um, and you get to join a great community of people in the sub-discord. They should forfeit this turn. GG. Okay, that one. Okay. That person was high ranked, so let's go ahead and take a moment and just see where we end up here.
Here, I'll show you that they haven't that they haven't released the outer standings yet. Number 12. Okay, we've won two games at rank 12. Let's see how much we gain for winning twice at rank 12 in the world. Two times. Two victories. We get three ranks for two wins. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Wenty. Silent Vitality, thank you very much for seven. Calm Winds, thank you for seven. Join the sub Discord. Well, we're top 10, but it's cost us a lot to get here. It's taken forever, and it's just, we're just crawling through these ranks. And we're having trouble finding opponents. We're probably gonna end the stream soon, guys. Uh, I'm getting kind of tired, and, um... I don't want to, since we're actually close to getting number one, I don't want to just, you know, give it away. Oh. <laughs> no problem, Cupcake. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to everyone who's hanging out here. Three more wins, you'll be rank five. I think we'd be lucky to get rank five and three wins. Last geese, thank you very much for the sub for the two months. We're almost back to 1,800 subs, y'all. Don't you get many stream snipers? Yeah, we have to play with delay, unfortunately. I don't love delay. I actually dislike delay, if we're going to be honest. But, uh, there's nothing that I can do. It's just not worth worrying about it, is the thing. Like, I always have to be, like, worrying if the opponent is stream sniping me. Okay, we found somebody quickly. Hopefully top 100. Number six, Zordor. Okay, this is a big one, everybody. We're six versus nine. This is almost Eduardo's team. Eduardo, are you still here? Pumpkin Spice, thank you for subbing. Almost Eduardo's team. They locked in quickly. Conkleder or Dusclops? Dusclops allows me to better handle... I'm doing Conkleder. Togekiss. So I, my biggest priority is getting rid of Togekiss this game. Eduardo was the sets. No, I mean, I know, I know Eduardo's team. All right, we want to shoot Bisharp Mimikyu. If it's Bisharp Mimikyu, I know it's coming. Otherwise, I don't know how they beat Colossal. Rotom Bisharp, okay. So I could just reflect and max, er, yeah, like, yeah, reflect and surf and max flare the Bisharp here. Ed, what, how would you even, how do you beat Colossal? Like, surf plus max flare looks free, doesn't it? I could also light screen and, and protect here. I mean, it could be Sash Bisharp. Is light screen or, or reflect better here? First, what I brought. I'm just gonna light screen and protect and see what happens. Dynamax, I think this will be Rotom, if I had to guess. I'm not positive, of course. I've been wrong before. The reason I light screened is because I thought that it was probably going to be Dynamax Rotom. I also expected them to go for a Max Geyser here into my Protect. Though I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I go for Protect. I could have just Surf and Max Flare the Bisharp, like I said, but maybe it's Life Orb Rotom, or maybe they know something I don't know. They go for Sucker Punch, that's another reason I wanted to Light Screen, is because it would make sure that they couldn't Sucker Punch me. 
And now I've got light screen for five turns, which is nice. Ideally, we see geyser, but it could be darkness. It's fan... It's... Phantasm, okay. They drop my defense. My defense, uh... Huh. So I could have just served and max uh, flared there and won the game, but I didn't do that. Anyway, let's cover for Max Geyser again. Um, very weird Rotom set. Let's go for Max Flare. The one thing is if Venusaur comes in... Ooh, if Venusaur comes in, we're actually kind of in trouble, aren't we? Hmm. With Max Flare. Ah, uh, if Venusaur comes in, I'll just deal with it. I wish I'd gone for Surf Turn 1. I don't know what I was... Like, I should have just... I don't know. Thanks very much, Josh. Um, if I'd gone for Surf Turn 1, uh, my Dragapult would be gone, but I would have boosted Colossal, so I wouldn't have to worry about Venusaur and Sun. I also... What I could have done there as well is I could have gone for... Oh, I wonder if it's like Assurance Bisharp. Like, you lower defense with Max Phantasm, and then you get Assurance off. Do a ton of damage. Master Mamoswine, thank you very much for the gift sub. That's not terrible. Like, I'm setting Sun up, which is kind of stupid for a Venusaur in the back, but it's not horrible. We also don't know what Bisharp's item is, if it's Sash or if it's something else. If it's Life Orb. I go for Iron Head, actually. Okay. So that's not great. And they Phantasm again, dude. I could have surfed twice. My bad, bro. Big might be. Oh, wait, but they didn't take any... Okay, Monge's Defense. Hang on a second. You guys want to see a magic trick? Wait, is this a good magic trick or a bad magic trick? First of all, I think it's going to be Sash Bisharp. That's the first thing. Okay, it is Sash Bisharp. That tells us it's not Sash Venusaur. Um, Phantasm didn't do anything to Gastrodon. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for Scald into Colossal and Vocalith into the Bisharp here. Iron comes out again. Big damage. What if this isn't a Colossal and I kill myself? Okay, no, I don't. Okay. Gashadon has a lot of damage on it. Um, and two defense drops. Colossal's taking a ton of damage. Uh, and all we got out of that exchange was Bisharp. But we do still have a turn of Dynamax left. And we do have boosted Colossal as well. Okay, I survived. All right. All right. Okay. Vocalist on the field. Rota the Colossal's boosted. Um, Dragapult's damaged. Rotom is a ghost move. It might be a Salt Vest. Mimikyu comes in. I'm minus two defense, which freaks me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie to the people at home. Um... I also don't know the item on the Mimikyu, and Mimikyu is another Pokemon that's actually a big problem for this team. For, for not for this team, but for this mode that I've brought. Um, I'm minus three defense Colossal, and I don't have Reflect Up. So I think there's a pretty good chance that a Shadow Sneak would KO me, but there's no guarantee that they have Shadow Sneak. So I'm going to go for Scald into Mimikyu to break the... Dis nope, 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 nope. I'm going to go for Scald into Mimikyu to break the Disguise. And Max Grass into Rotom, and see what happens. Ah, I should have Max Guarded. I might survive. Holy cow, I just died? Wait, I think I lose now. Uh, I might win. I don't know. It's not over. Although that was a really bad turn. Oh, it's Life Orb. That's why. Shadow Ball. Okay. Man, I'm getting rolled. Why not let Vocalist damage kill Bisharp? That's a good question. I should have let Vocalist damage kill Bisharp. Might regret that. Okay, we get the burn. Let's oh, they're Life Orb. That's a huge burn. Wait, holy cow. That's actually a really big burn. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now we have a lot of chip damage in play. Hmm. Is Light Screen still up? No, Light Screen should be done now. Okay. Light Screen might still be up. I'm gonna go into Conk. Light Screen? Light Screen's still up. I'm minus two defense on Gastrodon. I'm going to Earth Power into Mimikyu, check their team. If the last Pokemon is Togekiss, then I would lose, right? Probably. 
I'm gonna Earth Power and Drain Punch for the KO on potentially both. Unless it's like Wood Hammer. Wood on switches. This might be um, Togekiss. Oh, it's Venusaur. Oh, okay. Play Rock comes out and connects. Does a good chunk of damage. Huh. They take some Life Orb Recoil. I'm gonna get a big Drain Punch off here. I set Sun on turn one, I believe. So that means that I, uh, this should this next turn should be the last turn of Sun. However, that also means that... Oh, wait, no. It doesn't mean anything. Take some Life Orb Recoil. Okay, Mimikyu goes down to the rocks. Light screen's gone, and I think I have one more turn of sun, so I'll protect with both this turn. Last turn of sun, okay. I'm gonna protect with both and see what they want to do. Uh, I think Coles will have one more turn as well. Last turn of Coles, yep. Whoever suggested I should have max rocked into the Rotom, I'm inclined to agree with you right now. You know what I could have done there is I could have actually... I had a better move, I think. I think what I could have done there is sacked Gastrodon. And gotten Dragapult in at the right time. And they have Energy Ball as well, which is good to know. Okay, Energy Ball and Thunderbolt, both into Conk is what they want to do. Sun it ends, which is nice. They are not in Drain Punch range, but they are in Earth Power range. I could also switch to Dragapult here, but if I got the call wrong, I would lose. So they have to double me to win, right? I'm going to Earth Power into Venusaur and Drain Punch into Rotom. I think they might be Assault this Rotom based on how they're playing. Because I don't know why you have Shadow Ball otherwise. Protect from Venusaur, an interesting play, but not the right one. Thunderbolt comes out. As long as I don't get crit or parried, they don't crit me. I get a Drain Punch off into Rotom and take a lot of health back from this. Rotom goes down. And it's a three versus one, and Venusaur doesn't have Giga Drain. Whew, that was close. Mach Punch will KO Venusaur. Um, from this range, I didn't think it would. I mean, I, we can find out together. They might forfeit, though. It might. It was going to be close, but I figured my move was better. Let's see. Because I didn't think Rotom was protecting, and I figured... You were right. It did KO. Um, but I figured even if like even if they doubled Venusaur there, I could still go for Dragon Darts Yawn and then win with Rotom versus Gastron. Because Rotom doesn't have recovery, and my Gastron still had the barrier intact. Okay, so we beat the number six player. We were number nine. We beat the number six player. We couldn't ask for much of a higher opponent. We could only ask for five higher opponents. And realistically, only four of those five. Okay, we are now top five. I'm inclined to keep going. We're so close. We're so close. Did you notice that the opponent was in the chat? No. I didn't notice. Wasn't, didn't, weren't they Korean? All right, top five. This is the furthest we've been with this team. Okay, that was relatively quickly. Hopefully we don't play somebody super far away from us. This is the person who always beats us, Sephranic. Ah, and it's the nightmare team. So I've played this guy twice and he's beaten me both times. Um... Okay, hang on. Medusa, thank you for the gifted subs. I have to focus, I'm sorry. But thank you very much, that's super generous. We're back over 1800, I think. Last time you beat me with Dragazolt stuff. Um, I have to respect for Marina as well. So I'm, I, in order to win this game, I have to hard read him, right? That's what it looks like. And if I can't hard read him, then I can't win the game.
I would even go so far as to say if I can't hard read him, then I don't deserve to win the game. This is my gatekeeper. This is my personal demon. Sephranic. He was playing as number one one time and he beat us. Even though he didn't even- I don't know why he was playing at number one in the first place. Assault this Dragazolt. I don't remember the Primarine item, but I think it's Specs. Whimsical Primarine are the leads. Okay, I was calling a Dragazolt lead. It didn't work. Okay. This isn't how I normally like to play, but I don't know what choices I have at this point. I believe it's Choice Specs Primarina, if I'm not much mistaken. And Pixie Plate Whimsicott, I think? Tailwind? Okay, this is what we expected. Gleam, okay. So much damage, oh my god! Wow, wow. Wow. And a Hailstorm. So I've basically given up my Dynamax here in order to KO Whimsicott. Um, I got a Yawn in the process, which is fine. And I got Hail up, which doesn't help me. This is such a bad matchup, and my opponent's unfortunately very good. Okay. Well, this is a bad start. This should be, I believe, the sharp. We believe in you. Thank you. It's not about belief right now. It's about it's about action. This is probably not what he expected. This lead, at least. Um, Yeah, my back feels against the wall, but I'm not out of it yet. I have a couple tricks left. I know that he's got Assault this Dragazolt. I know that he has Specs Primarina. And I expect Bisharp is the last Pokemon. It's just this dang Primarina. But I got a Yawn on the Primarina, which it just puts him in an awkward position. Okay, this is what I anticipated. The question is... What's he doing now? Is he going to go for Max Lightning? Is he going to switch out? I'm gonna so the okay so the obvious move is for me to switch into Gastrodon and Max Guard. However, if he reads this, then I'll be in really bad shape, like super super bad shape. Because the way that he would counter that is to just. I think I have to. Well, I don't have to go for it. I could also ma I could switch to Gastrodon and Max Ice. I think that's a somewhat decent play as well. Although. He would probably cover for that. I'm going to switch to Gastron and Max Guard. It's obvious, but I don't know what else to do. Okay, well, he stays in. So, I mean, in a best case scenario, he probably Dynamaxes Gastron on here. Or Dynamaxes Dragazolt here. He Dynamaxes somebody. So let's see if it's Primarina or if it is Dragazolt. I can see both making sense. It's Drake as well. Okay, so we get a sleep on Primarina, which is what we needed. However, getting through the rest of this game is going to be tricky. And I have to eat Nick Dazzle and Gleam and Gastronom, which doesn't make things any easier. But I have put Primarina to sleep, which is really important. Lightning comes out into Gastronom, and Dazzle and Gleam comes out. Oh, man. Gastron takes so much damage. However, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, we do, uh, we are successful in getting up. Um. Yawn on the Primarina. Okay. I'm going to Earth Power to prevent Bisharp from switching in. And I'm going to switch into Togengus. Sack Togengus off to get Dusclops in. And then get Dusclops in and try and win with Conkledur and Trick Room. Because Conkledur can be Dracozolt once it's out of Dynamax form. They stay in with Primarina. Okay. So they are rolling sleep turns. They are, they are rolling dice with sleep turns now. Um, 
Yeah, if they for some reason max dragon into this should max lightning though. Lightning, yep, okay, that's the end of Token Guess. So I think that I can take a max lightning from Actually no, I'm sure I can take a max lightning from Drake's ult. Um But I would need Primary to stay asleep for one more turn. One turn to sleep on Primarina. Hell is actually kind of helping me right now. Okay, not a ton of damage, but not terrible damage either. All right, so I think I'm down to Dust Clops, and if it can survive, Max Lightning plus maybe a Dazzling Gleam. I don't think it can live both, but I think it can live one. And it's their last turn of Dynamax, so I'm gonna go Dust Clops. We will confirm what we already know. Dash Clops. Assault Vest and Choice Specs. I now have to make a choice. I can Earth Power again, or I can Protect. Protect. I'm going to go for Protect here, even though the obvious move is for them just to attack again. Um, the reason being is I think there's a chance they want to get rid of Gastrodon. And I think if they wake up with Free Marina, I'm screwed anyway, so I'd rather make a play that gives me another, like, gives them a chance to mess up. Because I can always um, heal myself again. They go for Max Lightning. I made the wrong play, unfortunately. Dust Clubs can take a lot from this. Oh, actually, not as much as I expected. Does Primarina stay asleep? It does, okay. All right. And now they're out of Dynamax. And Trick Room is up. Actually, they didn't need to stay asleep there. I was okay anyway. Um, okay, and now the interesting thing is that they are in Babby form. And the thing about Babby form is that um, they now have to deal with Hustle's lowered accuracy. And a Nightshade plus Earth Power will KO the Primarina. So... Ah! This is doable. This is the most, this is the closest I've gotten versus this opponent. I'm going to Earth Power and Nightshade. Knowing full well, I could, in theory, lose, um, lose my Dusclops here if things go badly. However, I don't think I have a better option. Primarina can't protect itself thanks to the, sh the specs. Um, I don't remember what the last Pokemon is, is what I just realized. And if it's something like, if, I was just been assuming it's Basharp, but if it's not Basharp, we might have some trouble. They switch. Something's taking Nightshade Earth Power. Who is it? Bisharp, okay, we get rid of Bisharp, that's really good. However, I might lose a Pokemon in exchange. And if I lose a Pokemon in exchange, this gets a lot harder. Earth Power comes out. Okay. Dragon Claw, Mid no, it connects! Gastron on faints to a crit! I don't know if that mattered. Okay. All right, Wolf. Back against the wall for real. Um, huh. So I can one-shot this Dracozolt if I want. I can also KO Primarina here. What gives me the best odds of winning? And who do I need to KO to win this game? Wait a second, how many turns of Trick Room are left? Is there still three? There's three, right? Three turns of Trick Room, okay. What happens if I Drain Punch and Pain Split here? I would need to live two Specs attacks from Primarina if it wakes up this turn. I would need to live three Specs attacks from Primarina if it wakes up this turn. I'm going to take my chances. I think it's going to be Dazzling Gleam. I think Pain Split will give me... I think I No, I only need to take two. I take this one, and then I Nightshade, and I take another one. I think I can win this regardless. I'm Pain Split and Drain Punching. I maybe should have considered Ice Punching, but I think Drain Punch is fine. I think Ice Punch is better, though. Pain Split comes out. I'm going to borrow some health. I go all the way up to... 112. I Drain Punch here. If I if it survives, then I should have Ice Punched. Okay, it didn't survive, so it was to the right play, I guess. Now, there's a 50% chance that they stay asleep here. Stay asleep, stay asleep, stay asleep. And that should do it. That should definitely do it. Oh. Drain Punch into Primarina. Nightshade into Primarina. And finally, I think this will clear it up, but I think this is finally the game we win. I think we could have won even if they woke up on the second turn, or on the third, yeah, after two turns instead of three. Um, I just needed, like, because I would have KO'd um, Dracozolt, then they would have hit me with Dazzling Gleam, then I would have Nightshaded, and I just would have needed to, like, spread Dazzling Gleam and, and single target Dazzling Gleam. Um, but yeah, bad Drain Punch. Yeah. Ice Punch was better. But I borrowed some of the health, and I was actually finally able to win. Really bad matchup, but I think we played pretty well. The Yawn play on the Primarino saved us, obviously. Yawn, like, because we basically used our Dynamax just to get rid of Whimsicott. Um, yeah. Let's check our rank, because we beat the number two player. We beat the number six and the number two uh, ranked players. 
But that was, yeah, that was pretty clutch. That was very, very clutch. I am pro Pokemon player. <laughs> We're so close! Number two! Chat. I had a plan, and it is now, with my back finally truly against the wall, it is time to execute the plan. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm so close to number one. But I'm gonna do it. More Pico to number one. This is the gambit. The wolf click gambit. This team is significantly worse, and I'm significantly worse at using it. Than the colossal team. But I made you a promise. And if this is how I have to fulfill that promise, then I'm gonna go for it. This is the gambit of a lifetime. Number two on the ladder. Back against the wall, and Morpico is the choice of team. With a high-ranked opponent, we could potentially get number one after one more win. We are so close. But this is a gambit. The Morpico team is significantly worse. We have a much harder time using it. I don't even remember what all the Pokemon do. But I said I'd get more Pico to number one, and by gosh, am I gonna try. This is all- this is all I could come up with. This is my final gambit. Unless I can't find an opponent, in which case, it, the gambit will continue. Uh-oh. Opposing trainer's been found. The rank? 2424. Not great. We might- even if we win, we might not get to where we want to be. And if we lose, we're in deep trouble. Additionally, Charizard is a terrible, terrible matchup for us. However, as I recall, Captain Phalanx, thank you for the gift and the sub. Promised Orchid, Orchid, thank you for the sub. These people are industrious. They realize it might be in a YouTube video. I might have to hard read a Tyranitar lead here. Or I could do more Pico. No, more Pico doesn't work against Raichu, does it? All right, Conglutter and Didi. Backs against the wall. In the back? What do we bring in the back? This is a tough one, chat. I don't know what's the right- I don't know what's right, and I don't know what's wrong. I think Venusaur is a pretty realistic chance to be, go to be good here. And even though it's god-awful in the matchup, Morpico has to come to the game. Thank you for the gift and- for gift and subs. I make- I can't make a username, thank you very much. K Dar- K Demarni, thank you for the sub. This is it, one way or another. Do I have the right Pokemon to win this game? Let me be clear, no I don't. I do not. But do I have something that my opponent doesn't have? Heart? I do. I do. Or I hope I do. This is it. Blackness, thank you for the gift sub. I'm so nervous, gotta stretch. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I punched the ceiling. Ugh. I'm sorry ceiling, I didn't mean it. Bring the more Pico. I did. How many good Pokemon do I have on this team? Only one, and it's more Pico. When you start Torkoal, one of the best leads we could ask for. One of the best leads we could ask for. Why is this a good lead? Well, I'll tell you. It gives me a chance to immediately overwrite the sun using Conkleder's Rock Slide. Rock Slide, when it's Dynamaxed, turns into a rock type move, which, because of its secondary effect, sets the Sandstorm. Thankfully, my Ndidi has the Safety Goggles item. Safety Goggles is a powerful item because it means that I won't take any damage from Sandstorm and will also protect me from Venus or Sleep, uh, sleep Powder. All right, let's go for it. I'm breaking a Focus Sash. I'm breaking my opponent's kneecaps. We could not ask for a better lead. More Pico against the world. A man of more Pico in a dream. Before him, a frog and a turtle. His final, final enemies. Conglutter's gonna Dynamax here. An early Dynamax from Mr. Glick. What's he thinking? It's Conglutter. A surprising choice. In front of a fire and a grass type, Conglutter's fighting type attacks are about as, as neutral as you can get. And GD's gonna go for a follow me. Are there any protects? No protects. What's gonna happen? Is it a grass type? Is it a poison type? Sludge Bomb comes out. They're not falling for the gambit. Is there a poison? There's not. Max Rockfall comes out, overriding the sun and doing super effective damage to Torkoal. 
Torkoal takes a ton of damage. An eruption would be significantly weaker, but a heat wave would still do good damage. Heat wave comes out. It misses the Indeedy, a crucial miss. Conglader takes some damage, but thanks to the Dynamax, it takes less damage than it would otherwise. However, Wolf Click has revealed a crucial hole in his plan. He's revealed that he safety goggles now. The opponent will no longer fall for Sleep Powder. What else is on this team? Okay, Wolf Click back against the wall. Psychic into the Venusaur. Nope, Psychic into the Venusaur. And Rockfall once again into the Torkoal. Now, there's a good chance that Mimikyu comes in here. However, we don't have a better option against this thing. Rockfall into Torkoal. Torkoal switches out. Who's going to come in here? Is it Snorlax? Is it Mimikyu? It is Mimikyu switching in. It's going to have its disguise broken in one shot. Sludge Bomb again. A poison would be disastrous for Mr. Glick and his plans. No poison and Didi takes the hit like a champ. Psychic comes out. Thanks to the Psychic Terrain and Super Effective. Will it be enough? Venusaur hangs on. That's devastating for Mr. Glick. You know he's got to be really upset about that. Rockfall once again into Mimikyu and Mr. Glick has burned through two turns of his Dynamax. He has only one left. And there's a mysterious fourth Pokemon that we have not yet been able to witness in the back. Is it Charizard? A Charizard could be very dangerous here. Venusaur is so close to getting knocked out. Conglader taking so much chip damage thanks to this burn. And is going to go for Protect here. Saving Indeed is an interesting move from Mr. Glick. The problem is that Wolf has now lost his ability to overwrite the sun. Is this a mistake on his part? Or is it calculated? Torgo could switch in here. One way or another, Venusaur should go down. No, there's no switches. What is Mimikyu going to go for? Is it going to go for a Phantom Force or a Play Rough? Play Rough comes out and misses. No, it goes into Ndidi. Sludge Bomb comes out. Ndidi as well. Wolf Glick with the read of a lifetime. Conglader goes for Max Rockfall. Mimikyu. It's going to take the hit, but it will survive. Does not hang on. It's a two versus four. But what is the mysterious last Pokemon? And can Wolf handle it? Because Charizard would be particularly dangerous in this uh, economy. Sky Ace, thank you for subbing. Wolf Glick. Fear in his heart. Torkoal comes in. We already knew this was, this was a possibility. Is it Charizard or... It's Charizard. A dangerous, dangerous, dangerous last Pokemon to have. Now, Charizard cannot safely Gigantamax here. It will have to stay in its babby form. If it chooses to Gigantamax, it will, unfortunately, not be able to get around Follow Me. So Wolf has two options here. However, they're both kind of bad. We're going to go for Follow Me and Rock Slide. We're most likely going to hit with a Heat Wave and lose both Pokemon. Rock Slide coming out. Or will it? Heat Wave is the obvious choice from our opponent. <gasps> a Gigantamax! Unreal! The opponent predicts Wolf to not go for Follow Me and instead to detect Ch uh, Conkleder. So they go for Gigantamax, fearing not the Follow Me of his opponent. Chat, this might be what Wolf Click needs to turn this match around, to take this 4 to advantage and turn it into a win. Max Guard from Charizard. The first turn of Gigantamax used. Follow Me coming out from Ndidi. It's going to be redirecting the spread moves of Torkoal, which won't be redirected at all. Who's faster, Conkleder or Torkoal? Conkleder moves first, but Rock Slide is not perfectly accurate. Okay, Torkoal goes down. It's now a four versus one. Solar power activates in the Charis already. And Flame Orb as well. What was looking like a bad position for Wolf Glick is slowly, slowly turning around into what could be a victory. How a victory. However, we have to consider that Rock Slide is only 90% accurate. And with that 90% accuracy and his dreams on the line. Wolf knows only one can prevail. Airstream comes out here. Big damage into Ndidi. Let's see if this Charizard has Life Orb. That will tell Wolf if he can safely go for a Sleep Powder. Or if he has to resort to a Sludge Bomb instead. Life Orb comes out. There's no safety goggles. Rock Slide connects! And Charizard faints. Wolf Click won a match as number two, but his opponent was not especially high on the ladder. So will this be a dream come true? Or perhaps another stage in a nightmare. But a victory is secured.
More Pico in the back didn't even have to hit the field. However, 2-4-2-4 two, four, two, four versus number two. It might not be enough points to push us into rank one. Let's see. No, we would like to see. What is our ranking? There was no update? There was no update? Or did we rank up? Or did we rank down? Anything's possible at this point, folks. Communicating. Moment of truth. There was no update. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. We have to play again. Feels terrible. More Pico. Take two. Oh my god. My heart's going a million miles a second. Okay, here we go. This is it. Remember, this could be it, everybody. Wilder. With Rotom Fan in DD. Tyranitar Echadril. Gardevoir. And uh, hit my top. It's a jack button hit my top. I played this person before. Hmm. But I don't know anything about the team. Okay, let's think. I think it's Scarf Gardevoir on this team. So obviously, Ninetales Venusaur looks very strong here. Um. I'm gonna need to run some calcs. I think I want to do this. I'm just gonna run some calcs really quick. This is it, everybody. This is it. Wolf click back against the wall. Guard of War and GD. Okay. Okay. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Not the best, but not the worst. It's quite an unfortunate trace. That's actually a very unfortunate trace. They're gonna go for Dazzling Gleam and Psychic here, right? Okay. GD switches out. Okay, this is probably going to be Tyranitar. Yeah, they got me. They got me. However, I'm not giving up just yet. Yeah, they're going to hit me with Dazzling Gleam here, which is going to bring me down to Focus Sash, most likely. Uh, well, it will bring me down to Soak Focus Sash. But if they're doing this, maybe they didn't... Maybe they went for... No, they should Dazzling Gleam. They Psychic. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Hang on. Wait a second. This isn't so bad. Because I actually got a speed boost with Aura Wheel. And thanks to the speed boost, I now at speed Scarf Gardevoir. Oh my god, more Pico almost one-shots. Now, I will lose my Focus Sash. However, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm now faster than Gardevoir and can go for a Dark-type Aura Wheel, which is quite valuable. Hitting a Sleep Powder would be kind of... kind of... clutch, I would say. Sleep Powder into Tyranitar and Aura Wheel. Take a Gardevoir. That seems pretty good. They shouldn't have a switch into this. It should be like Excadrill or... Um, Switches Guard of War out. Wait, who are they switching into? Oh, and Didi's dead, dude. You can't switch in Didi into Aura Wheel. Okay, well, this is now a dark type move, so. And Didi goes down. Okay, so we one shot in Didi. I'm twice as fast, which means I'm now actually even faster than Excadrill. We go for Sleep Powder. We connect, so unless it's Lumberry, Torrent does asleep. Torrent doesn't have a Lumberry, it's asleep. Hang on a second. Wait a second. 
I'm back to happy for me. Okay. Hang on a second. It's more Pico, not less Pico. Okay, well, we're up four to three, but Gardevoir is one of the last Pokemon that has one HP, and Tyranitar is asleep. More Pico, less Ndidi. <laughs> okay, Excuse the last Pokemon. Okay, chat, in everyone's life, you have the opportunity to do... Are they going to call me here? That's my question. Because what I'd like to do is switch. Oh, it works anyway. Hold on, it will work even if I get this turn wrong, won't it? Oh, interesting. Yeah, this should work either way. Even if they even if they hard read this and they switch Tyranitar into Gardevoir... Then I would still be in a good position next turn. And they would have to Oko my Ninetales this turn anyway. Oh, they stayed in. Tyranitar is gone. Tyranitar is so gone. Wait a second. There's no way Tyranitar lives max grass. Unless it Dynamaxes, but you're not going to Dynamax your sleeping Tyranitar, are you? And I overwrote the Psychic Terrain, so now I can mock Punch things. Hold on. Hold on. Who are they Dynamaxing? It should be Excadrill. No Dynamax. Excadrill protects itself in this economy? No way. Protect from Excadrill? Okay. Turn, targets one shot. And now it's a four versus two. Oh, they're going to trace Chlorophyll, though. Hold up, they're going to trace Chlorophyll. But does that really matter too much? I don't think it does. Because I set up Grassy Terrain. And I'm still... Because my Ninetales is faster than... My Ninetales is faster than Excadrill. So I can just Heat Wave and, and Sludge Bomb. Gardevoir comes back in. It will, unfortunately, trace Chlorophyll. I think. Apparently, it always traces the thing across from it. Yep, it gets Chlorophyll. However, first of all, I don't think it can one-shot us. And even if it could... Wait, I could overgrowth into... No, I'm not... Let's not... So, wait, okay. I could overgrowth into Excadrill and Heat Wave. I'm gonna do that. Okay, Dynamax. Excadrill. Maybe I should've just one-shot Gardevoir there. I don't think Gardevoir can one-shot Ninetales. And I have Conkleder in the back, so I figured basically this gives me a pretty good chance to win the game this turn. Let's see what they go for. What's Gardevoir gonna go for here? Gardevoir moves first. Psyga comes out into Venusaur. Okay, so it didn't really matter what I do with Venusaur, but we hang on. If we hit both Heat Waves, chat, this could be a 4-0. If we miss both Heat Waves, we're gonna have some serious problems, I think. So much damage into Excadrill, even though it Dynamaxed. Ninetales moves next. Heat Wave... 4-0 victory for more Pico. No Pokemon KO'd. A 4-0 victory. Two wins at number two. Will this be enough? Gardevoir faints. It's not, it doesn't have enough damage to win. And we 4-0 Wilder with more Pico. More Pico did so well that game. <laughs> oh my god. Chat, this might be it. This might be the end of our journey. They were ranked 300. I don't know how, how like it scales. Please, everyone, send me your energy. 45 seconds into the future, send me your energy. Please, we've won twice at number two. Please let this be it. Give me a rank update. Give me number one. More Pico. More Pico, please. I'm so close. I can't stop now. I must not stop. I know what's the problem. Wrong way. There we go. A 4 0 wasn't enough. More Pico destroying the opponent wasn't enough. We need more. 4 Pico. Guys, I don't know how many more of these I have in me. But this is gonna have to be... Paul! Paul! 
I need you to throw mogul moves. Please, Paul. You don't understand what I've been through. Paul, please. <laughs> please, Paul. We can bribe him. This is a world champ. <laughs> okay, Wolf. Okay. All right, Wolf, calm down. Okay, anticipate his moves and go from there. This is the 2018 world champion. Maybe I should bring, maybe I should bring Venusaur over nine tails here. What do I think he's gonna bring? Dragable token gets lead, Excadrill, and then maybe Rotom. I'm gonna bring nine tails. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a gamble. Paul, please, please, Paul. Please, <laughs> please, Paul. Uh, in order for Morpico to get to number one, it has to overcome a world champion. I guess this is only fitting, but boy, is it terrifying. I will tell you that much. New music, stretch. Okay. 2,000 people, your dreams are with me. Send me your energy. Our, our toughest opponent yet, the world champion. The leads are what we expected. More Pico and Togekiss. Stare down, Togekiss and Dragapult. If I'm Paul here... You know what, I'm gonna have to play really well if I want to win this. I just, I just have to say it, I have to play well if I want to win this. I'm thunder waving Dragapult here. I anticipate Paul goes for Max Flying and Yawn into my Togekiss. If Paul were to make a different move and instead go for an attack into more Pico, could be problematic. He switches Dragapult out. Extra the switch, an excellent switch from Paul. Interesting move. Moldbreaker is on the field. And I made the wrong move, everybody. Protect from my token guess. Is he going to yawn me or is he going to dazzle and me? He goes for protect as well. Okay. An interesting move, but not a bad one. Thunder Wave comes out and is wasted. It's wasted on Paul. And his dang Excadrill. So Excadrill is the biggest threat in this game. I'm going to be honest with everybody. If I want to win it, I'm going to have to go big. I'm fake to using token guess and going for max airstream. This will KO his Togekiss. If he Dynamaxes Excadrill, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. We also expect the last Pokemon is probably Rotom Wash. Okay. I Dynamax, Paul does not. That's very good for us. That's very, very good for us. More Pico, not less Pico. Okay. He does not Dynamax Excadrill. That means Togekiss will definitely survive this turn. My question is, what is he going to use with his Excadrill? And what's Togekiss going to go for? Follow me comes out from Togekiss. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. What's he going to go for with Excadrill? Swords Dance? Fake Tears for more Pico. It outspeeds. An excellent outspeed. Good job, more Pico. Excadrill goes for a Swords Dance. Okay. It's now a very dangerous Pokemon. However, this isn't over. This actually isn't even that bad. Togekiss is going to go down here. And keep in mind, everybody, we have Conkledur in the back. Togekiss hangs on. However, that's really bad. Okay. I didn't know that it was even possible for it to hang on. Okay. Wow. So I don't get the critical hit, which is okay. We're going to have to keep playing this well. We're going to go for Aura Will this time. We've, he's already revealed that he has... Yeah, this is fine. I have a plan. Let's just calm down and think. He has Swords Dance. I have more Pico. We are not the same. I can't believe that survived. So we did have a 50% crit to crit, but we don't get it, which is kind of important. 
However, we're now plus one speed on more Pico, which means that we cannot speed a Dragapult in the back. And if we get any damage in Excadrill, which should be more or less assured this turn, we can, we'll, if we get it out of Dynamax, we can hit it with Mach Punch for the KO. There is a Dynamax from Paul, but that's actually not too bad for our team over here. Is it going to be this Excadrill? Most likely. This is going to be the end of Togekiss, however... It's not that bad in the long run, because Excadrill Dynamaxing means that it forfeits its speed. This will allow Ninetales to come in this next turn. And Heat Wave is extremely dangerous for Excadrill. Another Protect from Togekiss. He got us, however, it's still not that bad for us, thanks to Max Flare. Risky move, Paul. I could have I could have faked here as the Excadrill, but I chose not to. Max Flare comes out. Let's see a critical hit this time. It's a lot of damage. I crit him. Excellent. Quake comes out. He, he goes after more Pico, the wrong target. Or maybe the right target, actually. However, more Pico will actually survive. Eh? Next year, we'll get a special defense boost. However, he does not damage Togekiss. I'm unfortunately back to Hangry for me. However, both Pokemon are now in range of Heat Wave. I'm going to go for an Aura Wheel into an Excadrill, into the Excadrill and Max Guard. This allows me to go for Heat Wave next turn, which will KO both Pokemon. And he has no way of getting speed control right now. And we've already used a turn of his Dynamax. In addition, we know one of his Pokemon in the back is Dragapult, who does not have a favorable matchup here. Against my dynam against my plus speed Togekiss. He's playing really well against more Pico dancing between its forms. Formies. Max guard for my Togekiss. Last turn of Dynamax, not a big deal. He goes for follow me. Correct play. Is he gonna go after more Pico again? Or will he target Togekiss this time? I'm going for Aura Wheel. Half its health remaining. Another speed boost for more Pico. It's now plus two. He goes for Quake again. He calls the move correctly. It's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. His Dynamax is about to end. I'm going into Ninetales. Nothing wants to switch into my Heat Waves. We're going for double heat wave here. As long as one of them connects on the Excursion, it will faint. And it'll be a three versus three with no Dynamax. His Togekiss most likely will protect this turn. However, that's not super bad for us. Max guard from Excadrill. He chooses to sacrifice Excadrill instead of a different Pokemon. Heat wave from Togekiss. Connects on Togekiss, knocks it out. Extra goes back down to Babby for me. So here's the deal, everybody. Here's the deal. Dazzling Gleam is a, needs a crit to KO the, uh, the Dragapult, and I don't know whether or not... I do not know whether or not... Um, whether it's weakness policy or not. We know that Extra is not weakness policy, but we don't know the item on the Togekiss, or on the Dragapult. More Pico, thank you for your sacrifice. You did amazing. It's a three versus three. Dragapult, Excadrill, and one more against Ninetales, plus one speed Togekiss, and my Conglutter, who he has not seen in the back. He might be afraid of Venusaur. He should go into Dragapult here. I think that's his best move. Dusclops is the last Pokemon. Interesting. That implies that it's weakness policy Dragapult. So he knows that I'm Specs and Scope Lens now. He's back to Babby for me. Interesting. Here's the interesting thing, chat. Trick Room doesn't really help him too much. I'm gonna go for double Heat Wave again. It's my best option. I just need one of these Heat Waves to connect. Dusclops in the back is concerning. Is he going to go for Trick Room?
Does he have Pain Split? Dusclops is really hard for this team to break. I've already lost more Pico. Dusclops, Dragapult, and Excadrill. Excadrill switches out. Interesting. We get a lot of damage on the Dragapult. It's now in Dazzling Gleam range. Heat Wave comes out. Misses the Dragapult. No, that was really important. No crit in the Dusclops. Heat Wave comes out on Nine Tails. It's both, but that cr that miss is so crucial. Ugh. Trick Room goes up, however. I mean, all things considered, this isn't horrible. We're dealing a lot of damage. I'm going to go for Heat Wave and Heat Wave again. No, this time I doesn't win. I have a Conkleder in the back who can win this game. I just need a little damage on this Dragapult. If Paul wants to Shadow Sneak himself, he has the ability to do that. However, it will put him in range of a Heat Wave. Pain Split comes out, no protects, into Nine Tails. Maybe this is Phantom Force. He heals back up to 101 health. Nine Tails goes for Heat Wave and misses the Dragapult. Are you kidding me? Phantom Force. I needed that hit. I can't believe it. Okay, critical hit and dust clops. And the sun fades. I have to heat wave here for sure. Um, and I have to protect as well, I think. I'm making a hard read. I think he's going to pain split my Togekiss here. If I hit, if I just hit one of those, this game would be over. It's ridiculous, dude. Okay, no, we have to stay focused. Four more Pico. This game is so close to being ours. Turn. Turn. Th turn. Th th we have three turns left to Trick Room. Protect from Token Kiss. Who is he pain splitting? Pain split into? Token Kiss. We made the call correctly. Heat Wave comes out. Dragapult avoids. Dusclops hit gets hit. And who is the target of the Nightshade? Or of the, of the Phantom Force. Is it Nine Tails or is it Togekiss? Phantom Force comes out. Togekiss, that's not good. Takes a ton of damage. Uh-oh, wait a second. We're actually not in great shape. It's Life Orb. Could we lose this? How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two turns. What happens if I Heat Wave and Dazzling Gleam here? It depends on if, if, on if Dragapult has a move to hit Togekiss. No, I'm going to Heat Wave and switch. This is a very risky play. I might, I might end up regretting it for the rest of my life. I just need to... You see that if I just had a little damage on that Dragapult, this game would be over. Now that we know it's Life Orb. However... We don't, and the Trick Room ends up coming back to hurt us pretty significantly. Last turn of Trick Room is this turn, after this one. Conkleder comes in. Extra Drill protects itself! Oh my god, a crucial protect from for uh, from Excadrill. Heat Wave comes out. Please connect. Connects on the Dragapult. It won't KO because the sun is gone. But it puts it in so close. Phantom Force comes out as well. Okay. We get burned, okay. He's going to go for the double protect here. I'm going to go for a heat wave and a drain punch, I think. It's the worst case scenario. As long as Excadrill goes down, he needs three hits to KO me. He needs a double protect to win this game. Otherwise, he will definitely lose. No, not definitely. My moves can miss. I have rock slide. Maybe switching nine tails out was better there. No, it would have been the same thing. I still would have to hit a rock slide. Extra goes for a double and gets the double protect. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Who's taking this Phantom Force? Phantom Force comes out into Conkleder. 
Okay, that's very good, chat. However, it's also very bad. Okay. I have an idea. Here's what I'm thinking. I think he's definitely going to go for Dragon Darts, and I think it might KO Ninetales. So I'm actually going to switch into Token Gas here and go for a Mock Punch. He would need a Triple Protect to avoid this. And in this situation, he can't KO both my Pokemon in the same turn, which is his only win condition. So I win as long as he doesn't get a Triple Protect, which is a 1 in 9 chance. That allows me to then go for... Uh, for Dark Pulse and Dazzle Gleam for a guaranteed win. Okay. He doesn't go for the triple. Extra Drill goes down. Is it Dragon Darts? Or is it Phantom Force? It is Dragon Darts. I made the correct call. I bring Togengus in on the immunity. Conkleder would have survived, but he could have protected it out. So now it's a two versus one. And even though Dragapult does have a spread move, it shouldn't be able... Oh, it died to Life Orb. Okay. Well, I won. Marpico beat the 2018 World Champion for his third win at number two. <sighs> Is this it, everybody? Paul Ruiz, 2018 Pokemon World Champion. Our third win at number at rank number two. Please, this one for sure. This one for sure. Surely. <gasps> we have to keep going. I can't believe that. I'm in actual disbelief. No update again? We beat three people at rank number two and still nothing? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I really thought that was it. We got to rank two and won three times and still, still nothing. Still number two. 2,200 people. Backs against the wall, all of us. I'm playing my heart out. I'm giving all of my energy. We found somebody. Rank number nine, Zordor. If we win this game, we will, we will get to number one. I truly believe that. However, how on earth do we win this game against such a th threatening team? This was the Assault Fest Rotom team, I think. I can't believe this. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Zordor again. My arch nemesis. We lock in at the same time. It's faded. My final, final showdown. Zordor is high on showdown too. Zordor again, not in chat this time. Whoa. Oh. Number nine in the world. This is surely it. If we win this, we will get to number one, I believe. Rotom and Incineroar are the leads. I don't think that's what you want to see into, into uh, more Pico Wenyasaur. However, we don't know the item on Incineroar. It could be weakness policy. And if it's weakness policy, or I miss a sleep powder, if it's weakness policy, they Dynamax, and I miss a sleep powder, I will just lose immediately. Fake out into Incineroar. I think that's my best move. And I think sleep powder into Incineroar as well. I have to go for it. I can't respect safety goggles, Dynamax, Incineroar, her turn one. Rotom switches, but that makes sense regardless of their item. Who is it? Venusaur comes in. Are they going to Dynamax Incineroar? They do. This could be disastrous for me. What if they're safety goggles? Oh god, if they're safety goggles, I think I just lose. Okay, this is gonna be it. We know they have Rotom. We know they have Incineroar. Are they safety goggles Incineroar? Did they get me? Fake out. Does not do any damage. 
but it does crit. Sleep Header comes out. Safety goggles, they got us. Flare comes out, and that's gonna be the end of Venusaur. A rough start. However, not the worst start. Just a really, 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 really bad one. That was really bad. Now I'm in Hangry for me. I'll go Conk. That's a terrible turn one, everybody. I don't know if I can come back from this one. I'm going to be completely honest. That's really, really bad. I'm detecting a Conk holder. They have so many moves they can make that would just ruin me. They go for A. Earth power into more Pico. No. More Pico hangs on to the Focus Sash, but this is looking horrible. I don't know. I don't think we can win this anymore. They are not Life Orb. We get a Thunder Wave off into Venusaur, so I guess that's good. We're not going to give up, though. They go for Flare again. This could be into more Pico. No, they go into Conkleder. Okay. All right, everybody. Pico's going to break the Focus Sash on the Venusaur here. Got a speed boost. Doesn't really matter. They're going to attack with Venusaur here. No, they actually get paralyzed. Interesting. Max Flare again. Ninetales is going to take this. Takes it really badly. I thought it would take it way better than that. Okay. This is looking kind of bad. Okay, Thunder Wave time. If you can't beat them with uh, skill, beat them with luck. Hang on a second. How much time do I have? 30 seconds? Hmm. I have to take a gamble. I'm sorry, guys. This is all I know how to do. I have to take a gamble here. Will it work? I don't know. But it's, I have to go for it. I have to see if... They went for a Protect, okay? I have to see if Ninetales can one-shot this Incineroar. This is the only way I can win. That para was actually really bad. It KO'd. It KO'd if they were like max HP, max attack, and they were clearly really offensive. That's honestly soul crushing. Alright, this is it. This is all I have left in the tank. <sighs> Bro, that's ridiculous. Even if it didn't kill, it would have put in enough, like, I would have put it low enough. Where I at least had a chance to win this. Although they didn't switch the Sinner out, which I guess is good. Thunder Wave comes out. I can't believe that missed. Alright, Venusaur is going to go for nothing. Wait a second, hang on. If Conkleder moves first here, we're still in this. Okay, hang on a second. We're still in this. We have plus one Conkleder against the world. And we have neutral more Pico. Huh, wait a second. I don't think there's any way we win this, but I'm, I'm really going to try, guys, for you. Doesn't do enough. Mimikyu, okay. It's Life Orb Mimikyu. Ah, I can't beat it because it's a Shadow Sneak.
Yeah, if it weren't for Mimikyu, this, this could be doable, but... Yeah, it has Shadow Sneak. Yep, Shadow Sneak comes out. Crushes my hopes and dreams. Man. Energy Ball, yeah, every, every bit of damage is just spelling my defeat. Special Defense Drop, just Insult to Injury. Because of the special defense drop, it's now guaranteed that I can't win. Um, because let's say they missed a play rough and I got, you know... First of all, they could just Phantom Force and they would win. But let's say even best case scenario is like... They miss a play rough and they get paralyzed. I'm in Thunderbolt range now. So, because of the special defense... Like, I might have taken... I may have taken Thunderbolt before, but not anymore. Hax is a win con? No. There's no win con here. We lose. I'm probably gonna die this turn, actually. Yep, that was the right move. I couldn't read it. Like, I just couldn't afford to. Feels so bad. Yeah, and that's the game. I can't I can't win anymore. Unless they... No, even if they fandom force their own Venusaur. What up, Amish? Feels really bad, dude. I can't believe we won three times at number two. And we... we this, is how, this is how we go. Versus safety goggles and Cinerai. Yeah, I mean, this is over. Rock Slide will KO both, but I won't get the chance to use it. They Phantom Force into my Conk Holder, and that's it. Yeah. Well. Feels bad. Feels really bad. Um, the Overheat Miss is what killed us there. Uh, if we get the Overheat KO, then the whole situation is different. But, yeah. We didn't get the- we didn't- we just missed overheat. And even if we got the damage off, the whole situation is different. Um, let's see where we finish. We were number two. We won three times. We lost to a very high-ranked player. So, feels bad. Feels super bad. Okay, well, we're still at number two. I will search for one battle. I will search for one- one battle. Ooh, interesting. I have been passed. Where's more Pico? I don't think the player who's at number one would be searching. But let's find out. Four Sun teams and a health team plot armor. <laughs> and one G-Max Hatterini team. At least one. I will only search once. So if we don't find anybody, we're just going to call it quits. Did you confirm number one in the IC? I did. I will show you after this. Covered in Snom. That was insane. What tier did you start at? Great ball. Yeah. Why Citrus Berry over Nature Berry? Um, if Venusaur's not bulky enough that I was confident it would go down to 25% without getting KO'd. You need longer streams? Listen, I normally do longer streams, but it's midnight. And I had a goal and I accomplished it. I was ready to go until 4 in the morning, but this means I can actually fix my sleep schedule, which would be really good for me, so. Oh. Alright, more Pico. Aether! The Aether Foundation versus the more Pico Foundation. More Pico, this is your only chance. Oh wait, I don't have Colossal. I was about to freak out. Wait, I know this team. But the Weezing is a problem. Um, the Weezing do be kind of a problem, though. Hmm. Ah, oh, I forgot how to play. <laughs> I kind of want to do something stupid. I I feel I've played this team before. I just don't remember what it does. The wheezing is such a problem. They're definitely gonna bring wheezing. They're definitely gonna bring mammoth swine. That's why I want to bring Conkleder for sure. I could do Conkleder Togekiss. I could do Conkleder and DD. I'm going to do Conkled or Token Guess and just see what happens. In the back, um, it's probably Oblivious Mammoth one, right? I think Nina Tails should come, and then, uh, but Wendy's was kind of good too. I'll do Nina Tails more Pico. Like, this isn't going to work, but... 
If we're gonna lose, let's lose with more Pico. Like, if this is our, if this is more Pico's final chance, I think. They're number one and I'm number two. But I have to use more Pico team. Which is problematic. I've led with Conkleder to, to discourage Mamoswine from Dynamaxing off the bat. Win one game and you're done with more Pico forever, but this is a nasty matchup. This is a nasty, nasty Mammoth uh, matchup. Weezing Neuron, okay. Oh, oh yeah, it's Tailwind, I forgot. It's Tailwind and they max Weezing, right? That's what I recall about this team. Conkledonk and Togekiss are my leads. They're gonna neutralize the gas all over the place, okay. Um, I think what I'll do here... Oh, right, I don't have Ice Punch. All right, I'm just gonna rock slide and air slash or extreme. I would like to get rid of this wheezing. That'd be kind of nice. It's sash, it's sash Noivern. I think it's a berry wheezing. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm mostly sure it's a berry wheezing, and I think wheezing likes to dig in their Dynamax turn one. Calm Loader guts doesn't work with wheezing out. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. Um, neither does my scope lens. Super luck. Yeah, on this team, it's not Scarf Weezing. They're gonna... Wait, why are they Dynamaxing first? Oh, that's why. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna lose my Conkledonk to tier, which is kind of problematic. No everyone yelling. No everyone... Come on. We can be mature, can't we? Yeah, I think I lose. I don't know how I win this. Because with... Um, I mean, actually, it's not terrible. I guess it depends on how fast... I guess it depends on if I get the 1 in 8 chance to crit. Because I'm going to lose Conkleder here. For sure, for sure. Max guard, max guard, max guard, max guard. Yeah, it's the end of Conkleder, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Okay, Tojikus can take some damage here, but... uh. It's not terrible. Though it actually did kind of a lot. There's sludge bombing as well, okay. I take another airstream as long as I don't get poisoned. Let's find out. Okay, I don't get poisoned somehow. That's uh, it's not enough damage. Because now they're gonna eat the berry. They eat the berry. Yeah, now I'm gonna be super weak. Yep, the berry comes out. I wish I had ice punch. That's fine. Um that's fine. I go for Rock Slide, I hit both, which is nice. However, yeah, the damage is pretty pitiful. Uh, I think I have to switch to more Pico here in Max Guard, although the move is so obvious that I really don't want to do it. Because if I'm in their position, I'm air streaming and sludge bombing, right? I can take a sludge bomb, truthfully. Um, I think I still want to switch, though, to more Pico. The question is, who should I target here? I'm gonna switch to more Pico and I'm gonna Starfall into Noivern. If I lose, I lose, right? If they a double into my Token Guess here or if Sludge Bomb does enough damage, which it actually might, I think I maybe should have max guarded. They airstream again, this should be into Conk this time. There's into Token Guess again. Okay, that's pretty bad. I lost. <laughs> I wonder how Aura Wheel works here. Oh, I'm- oh, we're speed- oh, plus two is different than plus one. Right, okay, okay, okay. We're still in this. They're plus two wheezing. Um, however, I either have my focus sash intact or, uh, uh, or, uh, what happens? Okay, I took out their Dynamax, and they don't have Tailwind, which is pretty important. They're plus two wheezing, though, which is kind of bad. Let's see what they attack here. The Sludge Bomb, okay, I could have Max Guarded there. Um, however, we got lucky in that we trade Dynamax. So this isn't a terrible trade. Like, a lot of their Pokemon don't deal with Ninetales as well. The problem is, of course, like... They still have this stupid, 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 stupid Weezing in play. And that's really negating my, um... It's really messing with my vibe, man. It's really killing my vibe. Okay. Chandler is the switch, and I have Nina Tails. So, do I think Weezing has Protect is the first question. It's Air, Air Balloon Shandy. They don't have an ability, though. I'm gonna Aura Wheel the Chandelure, and I'm gonna... I think I wanna Dark Pulse the Chandelure as well. It's 
It's a bit risky. However, if it pays off, it'll pay off in spades. I maybe should have wield the Weezing, actually. Ooh, fast. Okay. I should move both fast. Unless they're Scarf Chandler. Okay, they're not. Oh, right. Nitrous is faster. Okay. Oh. Just barely no. Okay. Hmm. How do I win this? Because I'm in Ice Shard range from Mamoswine now. Mamoswine's fine. I can't change Formies. Oh, I know how to win. Um, I Aura Wheel into the Weezing, and I switch into uh, Conkleder. This could backfire, of course, but I hope that it does not. Because we know that their Mamoswine is Life Orb. Like, basically, it depends on the play they make this turn. Um... Yeah. It depends a lot on the play this, they make this turn. I guess I could have double... I think I should have taken out Weezing last turn because it was speed boosted. It was the bigger threat. More Pico speeds Weezing? Yeah, I know that, actually. I realized because Token Cassette outsped Weezing at plus one, so so will more Pico because more Pico is actually even faster. So the only way that this backfires is... Well, there's... It's not like... I don't know. It's not perfect. Zella, thank you for the bits. Let's see if they Ice Shard. They protect! That's the perfect move. That's, that's the exact move we needed. Or what move comes out? It's 110 base power. Should take out Weezing here. Okay, Weezing goes down, and all of a sudden, all the abilities are back in play. Hang on. Gas is gone. I get burned. Wait a second. More Pico? I sure it probably kills. It definitely would kill, but I didn't think they'd go for it. Um, yeah. So now I can just mock Punch Aura Wheel, because I have my... I got both my abilities at just the right time. Guts and Formy Changey. Aura Wheel and mock Punch. You also didn't change forms because of the Weezing. Exactly, so I got stuck in the Electric form, which is actually good because it let me use Electric Attack versus Weezing for the KO. Hang on, wait, guys. We might have we might actually be there because um, we have Solar Beam on Specs Ninetales. Mog Punch comes out. That's a lot of damage. We're plus one speed. Okay. We won. Are we rank one with more Pico? More Pico, victory, yes. Let's go, more Pico. Okay, did we get more Pico to number one in the world? Please. We went 7 0 tonight. Number one, please, more Pico. I've suffered so much. I've suffered so much. We beat the number one trainer, but it took some time to do it. But we beat the number one trainer. Two number ones in one night. More Pico, number one in the world. I'm free. I'm free. I did it. <laughs> yes. More Pico number one, I was here. Yes! <laughs> We're free of more Pico! Oh, I fulfilled my obligation. And it only took me an hour and a half. This was like 20 streams of work for the rest of all of April. And now one May 1st in an hour and a half. I got number one twice in one night. Did we cheese it? A little bit. Did we go 7-0? Yes, I think it's still legitimate. 